What's up, guys? It's Matt Merzik, a.k.a. MVM3897, um, with a little <clears throat> video for you guys. Uh, since we did the uh, Gumpla Hangout the other day, um, I sent uh, Mr. Gumpla Fixation, a.k.a. Jim and Boo, uh, a private message to see if you want to uh, build his uh, Xeon conversion kit with me, and I think we're going to do it. So we're going to do a little mini group build here. And as I mentioned throughout the uh, Gumpla Hangout the other day, I'm kind of standing on mine, but uh, I have a slightly different version than he does. I have the G System Shop version. He has the G System Best version. And the main difference is that he's lucky enough that he doesn't have to buy a master grade kit for the conversion. Um, they've supplied him with the parts for that. Whereas I, my unlucky ass, has to buy a master grade Xeon. <laughs> so if anyone has one for an inexpensive price, like $50 or less, let me know. I'll take it off your hands. So anyway, I've already opened this up. I started sanding on it, cleaning up the pieces, but I'll show you where I am right now. And then uh, we'll just do a little video diary uh, of the build and hopefully uh, Jim will get his going and we'll have a little uh, group build. So here I am right now on mine. Um, <clears throat> this is, like I said, the G-System Shop version. So here's the box. It's quite large actually for the conversion kit. Uh, it's a really, really sharp looking kit. And the reason the box is so freaking large is not because there's a whole lot of pieces, because it comes with these um, the G System Clear Action Base. And let me show that to you. I've taken it out of the box, but it comes with one of these guys. So these are real handy. It's really big. It'll it'll support most of their 172nd scale kits. Um, it won't would not support like the Kshatri or anything like that. Those are just too big, but. This would, be, this would support a perfect grade kit, no problem. Um, it's really well made. It's real nice. It's clear acrylic. Um, I plan on actually, um, I think I'm going to spray mine black from the backside so it's nice and glossy. And I'm thinking about lighting it. So maybe like this little part right here, uh, a piece of photo wedge goes there. And I may mask some of these pieces off and light it from the underneath so it kind of gives some underlighting to the kit. So that's why the box is so big because it comes with that. And it had a bunch of padding inside, but I already took all that out. Um, here's the instructions. It would be just like same as Jim's. Um, GSB, they usually just copy each other's instructions. So here you go. And unfortunately, I don't have a tripod tonight, guys. Sorry. So we're doing it old school, hand -school handheld. Um, as usual, real nice uh, instructions. You always know it's an original G System shot because it's got a foil sticker. The GSB kits do not have that. So. Um, but anyway, the GSB kits are usually pretty good. I've never had an issue with them. Here is the parts layout. Like I said, there's fairly few parts. I think it's only like 125 parts. Let's see. Here's the specs. So, 21 centimeters high. It's only got 115 resin parts. This does have some plastic injection parts. It's like some of the hinges and little detail pieces for the thrusters. Uh, the, the eye does light up. It's got the acrylic base as it says and you see right there the original release was 2007 so this is what they called their third attempt or third release I don't know what they call the attempt it's just a, it's just a re-release now anyway, here's a layout of the parts pretty straightforward uh, so far everything I've, I've been cleaning up is pretty clean um, very little resin sludge anywhere um, it's been pretty straightforward so far and as I mentioned uh, to Jim in a, a message to him we're gonna pop his resin cherry <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to work on some resin here so uh, Jim if you have any questions or uh, any, any advice let me know I'll be happy to give it to you it's nothing really too difficult this is a, I think a good kit to start out on um, because for the most part um, at least for me since I have to buy the, the master grade the only thing I need on the master grade part is right there is that freaking arm uh, there's a teeny few other little pieces for the thrusters but for the most part all I need are the arms um, there's the photo etch, and I know that um, on the GSB kit it does not come with the Shars Zeong um, emblem there. So Jim sent me a message asking if I could scan that for him. That shouldn't be a problem, Jim. I can get you a scan. You can print it out or do whatever. Instructions are again really straightforward. Um, again, like I've mentioned in my other videos, it's not like a master grade kit where they give you specific um, order on how to assemble things. Basically, here's a part, and here's a line to where it connects to. So that's one reason I kind of like these kits. It's, it's, it's like a big puzzle. Um, 
even though they give you instructions, it's still a bit of a challenge sometimes to figure out where things actually go. Uh, and another reason this is a good kit to start out as far as resin goes, because it also gets you uh, introduced to Photo Etch, um, which can be tricky sometimes. I haven't worked with it a whole lot, but enough to know that it's it can be tricky. So um, it's kind of a really good kit because you get a little bit of resin experience, you get some Photo Etch experience, and it teaches you how to mask and all that fun stuff. Here's the best kit, of, best part of the kit in my opinion, the big butt piece. It's got all sorts of great details. It's got this awesome. Um, I don't know what you call it, it's tail. It's just really big and really super detailed. Um, as far as color scheme, I'm going to stick with the box color, man. I love it. I love this light purple blue combination. I've got some really great, here's the action base again and the instructions. And I do get this cool transparent um, picture of it. I'll show you that in a second. But I just love the, the real kind of pale purple look to it. So I'm going to stick with that because I've got some really great, um, everyone's favorite paint company, Playmo Color. <laughs> lavender paint that I haven't used yet and it's right let's see if I have it out here here's all my plain oil paints by the way guys so I've got quite a few this is just some of them I've got more than this um, here it is lavender now this hasn't been mixed up this looks really really dark right now but when this mixed up it's like it almost perfectly matches that I mean it's like spot on so with a little bit of undershading and everything it's gonna look really really sharp Here's a checklist of all the parts, showing that it's been checked off. Even though they say they've been checked off, always count your parts. A lot of times there's a piece missing. Sometimes you'll have duplicates. Sometimes you'll have two rights instead of a right and a left. <laughs> it happens all the time. So here's the cool little transparency they give you. You can see through. Kind of neat. Um, it's a cool idea, but it's it's uh, it's got their big logo on it, which. So I guess maybe what you can do is. Uh, like I may take my own photo and use this as a template, cut it out, and and when I light the base, this will be backlit. It'd be kind of cool. Again, you get your standard photos. I think you get three. One, two, and three. Only three pictures. All the time, only three pictures. It really gets me mad. Come on, guys, give us more pictures for the price of your kit. It's ridiculous. What else we got? Uh, we got some decals. Their decals are usually really nice. I haven't really looked at these. Um, let me crack up. Again, I don't have a tripod, guys. Sorry, so I'm a little shaky. Crack open the box. Their, pack their new packaging is really nice. It's got this inner box, this inner black box, and there's a serial number. You'll always need that in case you have missing pieces. G System always asks for a serial number, so make sure if you have a G System kit, it's got a serial number. Great packaging again. This is new to them for in the past couple of years. Um, the first kit that I experienced pa their packaging like this was when I had the 135 XS 2.0 that uh, I believe Dave is working on, which I know what to put on with with a bunch of people. Like I said, I've already opened this. Had this had a ton of padding and foam in it, so it did not come like this. Trust me. Um, here's the package of all the the plastic injection parts here you see there's like some hinge parts for the part that opens up on the tail the battery some springs LEDs um, magnets and little screws and here's some bags of parts that I have not opened yet to give you a sense of the size here's that tail piece pretty good size as long as my forearm let's see okay. all right that's yeah, pretty good size so I mean it's 12 inches long at least before you put the rest of it on. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> so this is where I'm at right now. This is what I've been kind of sanding on. And during the uh, our little hangout the other day, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, I got a lot done actually. Um, I was sanding on the big butt piece initially. Casting is really sharp. I've only found two little areas that needed some work. And let's see if this will focus. Right there, you can kind of see around the edge of that nut detail. There was some sludge, so I'm having to clean that out a little bit. Nothing too major. And vice versa on this side. Right there. A little sludge. Uh, but other than that, it was real clean. Um, I always go through and rescribe the panel lines. I'll do a tutorial. This is just an intro to this build, but when I start doing build villages, I show what I do that. And I just, my, my method is super simple. Um, really sharp casting uh, I have decided that on all these little rivet details focus 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 right 
there. Uh, it's not a little short. It's a little soft. I'm gonna replace those with uh, metal beads and rivets that I have. I got a ton of those things, so I'm gonna drill those out and put new ones in. I'll show you how to do that. Um, I've got the torso roughly put together. So I mean, it's a good size kit. I mean, this is a 1 100 scale kit, and there's that. Um, if you bear with me, I'll put the camera down just for a second. It's gonna get dark. You'll still hear me. And I'm gonna dry fit the what I've got so far to kind of give you a sense of the size of this thing. It's pretty impressive. Um, so excuse me, a little elevator music. Do 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 and there we go. So that is kind of the torso for the main for the most part the major pieces anyway it the fit is really good on this kit um you know pretty impressed let's see if i get the tail on there it may not again it's gonna go dark for a second so bear with me it'll go on oh question is will it stay on Because this is, I haven't done, any, oops, I haven't done any pinning, guys. So this is all just me really trying to throw it together for you real quick. And sorry for the darkness. Deal with it. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this without it falling apart. Uh -huh. And that's how big it is. And that, if I let go of my forefinger, this is gonna fall apart. But it's freaking huge. <laughs> it's a big kit. Um, it's a very strange mecha design, but um, if you're going to build this kit, man, get this conversion. It's really, really slick. Um, the Master Grade by itself is really boring, but this is just really cool. Um, see, I've been sanding through. You can see where I've been sanding. <clears throat> Cleaning up pretty sharp details. i got to tell you guys, this is a nice little number from G-System. So, real impressed so far. So, again, this is just my intro to this build uh jim hopefully you'll get cracking on yours and we'll have a nice little uh group build there's no deadline there's no challenge there's no i'm better than you or anything like that this is a friendly little group build since we both have uh, a kit that's uh not quite as common as your uh, rx 78s or anything so anyway that's my intro for this build uh look forward to jim's and uh nice little challenge group build see you guys later good night Thank you.